Hey guys, what's going on? I'm SureDSIX, and well, today I have two things for you. One, a nice little free-for-all on Arkadin, and two, a little update for all my subscribers. So, to start off with the game, it's a 30 for 9 or 8, I want to say, on Arkadin, but the score doesn't really do the game justice, because, you know, I can't really put my finger on why, but I really enjoyed this game. It was just a lot of fun to actually play, so I hope you guys actually enjoy watching it, but if I had to take a wild guess, it'd probably be the people in this game. And it's not like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of snipers, and I'm guessing quite a few of my viewers, probably see the perfect lobby for them as, you know, a lobby where most people are using snipers, and everyone's kind of like quickscoping only, and, you know, something along those lines. Well, that's really not my ideal lobby. Like, for me, my ideal lobby has always been, I don't know, some type of balance. Like, if, for example, everyone was using a variety of different guns. Kind of like what you see here, you know. I mean, there are a few snipers. There's like a hard scope, like the guy you just saw right there who's just sitting on the outside. There's a zebra guy, or what, I have no idea how to pronounce that, uh, who's running around trying to quick scope, but, you know, with C4 and, uh, what was it? It wasn't a portable radar. The heartbeat sensor. Thank you. There you go. And, you know, and then there's this guy who actually gets quite a few nice shots now and then. But the point is, there was a wide variety of people, of people. <laughs> of guns used in the game and that actually makes a lot of fun for me because you know it's not just the same thing repetitively over and over and over again like for example i know a lot of people have you know trouble with c4 or when someone uses c4 it kind of drives them crazy and to be honest yeah i get pretty annoyed when someone's just throwing c4 everywhere and then you know you have a free-for-all with seven out of eight people kind of throwing c4 in every possible direction and just having explosions happen brrr, everywhere Okay, that's not fun for everyone, but there's when there's some balance, it's actually great. And that's exactly what I'm looking forward to. Well, okay. Yeah, free kill, but moving on. So, I just want to let you guys wa uh, know why this game was actually so much fun for me. And I even stayed in this lobby with this exact same group of guys. And we ended up having quite a few decent matches together. And I might even have another uploadable game or two from that exact same session. But, moving on. So, the one thing is, you may have noticed, I have not uploaded too many videos in the last week or so. And the reason for that is that I'm currently kind of having like a little vacation, reunion, whatever you really want to call it with, for my friends from high school. Now, the problem with the whole situation is that we're all crashing in my place, but when I say crashing, you know, we just picked this as our base of operation because, well, one of them's South African, who normally lives in Cape Town, the other one's British, but, you know, his parents live in Manila, so that's also on the other side of the world, and... It's not all that often that we actually get together and, you know, are able to uh, catch up and hang out and do things together. So, while they're here, it's been pretty impossible for me to actually, you know, play Call of Duty or to get any footage or to even record. Because, well, for starters, one of us doesn't really play Call of Duty. So, you know, it's not like we've been playing it at all. Because you can't just leave one person on the side and be like, hey, you know, we're going to go play a game. You'll have fun. It doesn't really work out. And at the same time, even if I wanted to post some gameplay from the few games we have played like let's say gta 5 online which has been a ton of fun and you know we're all like kind of we got into a few lobbies and did some races together and stuff like that which was a lot of fun again but just the process of actually recording a commentary you know requires people leave the house you have quiet nothing's happening around you that kind of stuff and in all fairness up until they leave which will be on the 25th of the october so basically two weeks from now i don't see myself you know posting way too many more commentaries because just of how difficult it is. I'll try to get a couple more out if I can, but no promises. But either way, once they leave, it will ironically be very close to when Ghost is coming out. So obviously once that comes out, I will hopefully have my solitude back and be able to upload some more you know, videos and actually kind of focus on a game for a change. Because I remember the very similar thing happened with Black Ops 2 last year where I was really, you know, I was really excited that I wanted to play the game. I actually got it at release date and I kind of started playing it, but there was this little delay because, you know, things were just happening. And I'm going to try and get that to not happen this time. And actually, I don't know, create like a proper quickscope series for ghosts. By the way, if anyone's like, oh, but there's no quickscoping in ghosts, there'll be quickscoping in ghosts. Relax. The whole thing, the more I think about it, seems to have been just a little bit of a marketing trick for <laughs> Infinity War to sell their game to the people who are not that happy about quick scoping but anyway since somebody once said oh shorty you should do something more special for your final kill there you go very random little pointless 360 that i was like meh why not no i'm kidding you know i love trick shots it's just not something i normally do all that much anyway hope you guys enjoyed this and i will catch you next time peace